Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm so happy to announce that I will be taking part in the Spotlight Collab Challenge, you guys. I am so excited. It's gonna pair me up with five amazing women, starting off with Sweet Tea Nails, because this, this is our entire idea to just kick off June and be crazy about it. And um, I'm new to Naomi Nails, so I'm excited to meet her. I'm actually partnering with her. Zora Williams, this is my Instagram friend. I'm so glad to be working with her. Nail Art by Nessa, who I recently connected with. Such a beautiful person. And new to me also is Nayel Nailed It. But again, so excited to work with her. We're gonna have so much fun in June. We're gonna kick off our first video uh, this following Saturday. So I will be posting this video today and then the next Saturday. And for every Saturday in June, look forward to what we create together as a group. I'm super excited. So guys, I've already started um, with this nail. I've coated it in two coats of Eternal Series Number no. 1 by Missy Gel Polish, and then I've gone in there with a coat of Lavender Violets um, Matte Top Coat. And now I'm using my old detail brush, and I'm using Calendula Series Number no. 4, also from Missy, and I'm outlining this, this um, hibiscus flower. So this flower is gonna be super interesting, guys. It's gonna incorporate a lot of colors, but right off the bat, I'm using my brush very lightly because this 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 number four, this calendula sort of orange, it's very pigmented. So I don't need to stroke on there very, you know, very roughly or very with much pressure. And let me tell you guys what this lavender violets um, top coat, it is it. It's holding that gel polish in place, it's not going anywhere. So I'm actually using a picture um, as reference and I was gonna include the picture but then I realized that this didn't look anything like the picture so why am I even bringing the picture up <laughs> okay so it's actually gonna be three tips one of them has a full flower on it the other one has like a flower coming off just you know from the right side like right center into um, into about half of the nail I think and then the other one just has like a petal as well as another half of the flower so um, yeah, very light strokes. I've made sure that my, you know, my brush is actually, it maintains its tip. So that way I can, you know, have those lines be fine in certain places and then also thick in other areas. So once I've got the outline, I want to start adding concentrated amounts of the calendula number four because I want to, I want to add depth. I want like the outline to be a little bit light but some of the color coming in to be a little bit darker in certain points and then I start shading some of it away as well into the center of the flower a little bit because this is how we're gonna be adding our detail you know dark in certain spots lighter in certain spots a bit of shading um, yeah guys I cannot I can I can't even contain my excitement to be working with not one not two not even three girl not even four but five awesome nail techs um, and it's a combination of us some of us are beginners some of us are just nail enthusiasts some of us are on our way training um, Zora is actually taking her you know her state exam June 10th so we're excited for that she's gonna get her nail tech license and we're all super supportive of that and then some of us are actually straight up nail technicians as well it's such a collection of talent I love it so so much so now guys I'm going in with this is Rota Red I'm pretty sure this is Rota Red no actually it's not Rota Red this is model one solid cream number three in red and I'm adding like the red in certain areas this is I'm not trying to blend that out it's gonna be nice and thick because I want you to see the contrast between this red and that orange that I used and I am curing as I go guys because this kind of artwork you just you need to you need to cure the bits and the pieces um, as you're going and you know I don't I don't often do this but this kind of work requires me to be super satisfied with what I've done because I do need to cure as I go if I don't the gel polish colors are gonna start blending in now I do I'm quite careful to make sure I leave enough negative space because we are gonna be adding more color definitely gonna be adding a little bit more color so now I'm coming in with Missy gel polish series number five in a yellow 
Now the Missy Gel Polish, they do several series, okay? So it's the Yellow Series, the Green Series, the Rota Red Series, the Calendula Series, and then they just have numbers within those series to tell you, you know, the, the shade or, you know, just from light to dark. So I'm using yellow number five. It's my favorite yellow to use. I feature it in a lot of my artwork. And I am just having it overlap that orange that we initially added. So it's going to be super opaque in certain areas, but also super light. This one, I'm using it to shade in and to um, overlap the colors because it's not as dark as the orange or not as dark as the red. So I'm happy just putting it over those two colors because I wanted to sort of add and not take away. And it was, it was, it was really good to be able to do that. And as you can see, I'm still allowing there to be um, a bit of negative space where that white is concerned because you know we're gonna keep coming in with colors and I do note I had I added a little bit of like little dots per se with my brush to just again incorporate those those exact same colors and make the flower look a bit whimsical now this color for me oh this was about to be a hit or miss because this blue is so pigmented so opaque I didn't even know but it's such a beautiful blue it's model one solid cream number five and I just had to do it I had to because look at what it's doing to the flower right it's making it it's it's like a freaking carnival flower even so the flower started off being you know super um, I think one-dimensional but once we got in with these different colors um, you know what, I think I am going to put that picture up because you guys need to see how I just, I took that inspiration and I went, I went so left that I got lost. <laughs> that is how, that's how, I, what was I, it just looks nothing like the picture. I looked at the picture and I was like, the most I'm going to take from you is like the fact that it is a hibiscus flower and the colors, but I'm just going to do whatever the heck it is I want to do. So I'm adding the blue sort of as an outline to the outline in certain spots. I'm shading it in in certain areas. I love this blue. And I also, there were points in time when I was like, I don't know about this flower. That did not last very long because I, I fell in love with it. It's so vibrant. It's so colorful. It's exactly what I think Bahamian people are. You know, loud, bright, happy, cheerful. We always hungry, so we always eating. And we will feed you, so come down and visit me. <laughs> Invitation is open. Let me know, guys, in the comments what you thought about this flower. Also, let me know what you thought about the um, the recent vlog. That was like my first vlog. Well, like first official vlog that I posted. And everyone enjoyed seeing my island. So, yeah, let me know what you thought about that. Um, beautiful flowers like this are growing everywhere on the island. So really cool to bring this out in the art once again I am caring as I go I care for full 60 seconds especially when it comes to the solid gel creams because um, even with the 60 second cure I still stay care for another minute or so because I did experience a bit of bleeding yeah and I'll tell you exactly why that happened it was because I overlapped it with um, not overlapped it I top coated with base coat just to even out the the, the artwork because I wanted to do that before I applied the, the matte top coat. I didn't want like ripples or anything like that. And I feel like the base gel will break down the gel polish. So make sure you cure for a full two minutes because there's something about base coat that just breaks down gel polish. I think that's why it's supposed to go, you know, gel polish is supposed to go on top of it, you know, not, I'm sorry, below it, not on top of it. So now I'm coming in with model one solid gel cream number two. And this is again just adding um, the basic facts of you know the basic parts of the flower for example this is going to be that stem that basically shoots in the center of the flower where you can find all of the pollen yeah right on that and I also do use the white to add like little details um, to actually make the negative space white have something to contract to um, to basically have a bit of a contrast because the white that I'm using in model one solid cream and the white that I put as the you know as the backdrop they're two different shades so having this white sit up against that white there's contrast there's a bit of dimension and it, it does make white makes anything pop a bit more off of um, the canvas that you're using so I'm really glad I incorporated this
And it's worth mentioning, guys, that I used this one brush for all of this artwork. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, 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 I'm so lazy. <laughs> I try not to be back and forth between brushes. I'm so tired, you guys already know. I, draw, I would draw everything with my dotting tool if I could. And I have tried it and done so several times. I'm so, and then I'm, I'm still not about swapping between brushes. So how are you guys enjoying summer so far? Um, I know for a couple of places it's still not summer, but what are you guys doing anyway? Let me know. So now I'm taking my dotting tool. I told you it was gonna make an appearance, right? I'm using it to pick up a little bit of yellow number five and I'm creating dots at the very tip of that stem and I'm also using Model 1 Solid Cream number five as well to add a bit of contrast. And again, I'm gonna cure these for a full 60 seconds. And here is where I come in with the Missy Gel Polish base coat. And I did not, I mean, you know what? Basically, parts of this nail did cure for like three to four to five minutes even because it came in and out of the gel. And I still had some bleeding because of this top coat. So I will say let it float. But here's what it would look like shiny if I left it shiny. But of course, I went with matte, guys. So here's a video of the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Look forward to the collab that's coming up. I love you guys for watching, and I promise to see you in the next one. Bye.